Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good evening. So I'm just jumping on because I wanted to talk about using lavender oil for your pets. Now, lavender is probably one of the most well-known essential oils um, and you've probably everyone at some point has probably got some kind of lavender oil in their home. Now, did you know that lavender oil is actually the most adulterated oil in the world? Now, what does this mean? It means that most of the lavender oil that's sold isn't actually pure lavender oil. It's It can be full of contaminants or adulterated in some other way, um, such as diluted as well. Now, there's loads of, there have been multiple tests done on this um, to test purity of different oils, that are essential oils that are on the market. Now, lavender um, is actually the most consumed essential oil. Okay, it's the oil that is bought the most. But the, but the amount that's bought actually outweighs the amount that's produced. So therefore, we know that much of the oil that's bought isn't actually pure lavender oil. Um, now, there's a lot of little things that you can often tell by that. Um, it may say on the bottle um, for um, that it might be adulterated. It might say not safe for pregnant women and children. Um, and pure lavender oil, if the lavender oil is actually pure, it is very safe to use for pregnant women and children. And you might say, well, why are you talking about pregnant women and children when you're talking about animals? And it, it's just to make the point about purity. OK, so you know, buying an oil that says not safe for pregnant women or children on a lavender oil, stay clear of that for your pets as well. Um, and this is one of the reasons I love about the doTERRA oils, because you can literally put the batch number in at the bottom, go to source to you.com, you can see every single thing that's um, all the constituents that are in that oil, and you can see that there's nothing else in there, just pure essential oil from the lavender plant. So really, really powerful oil. So what can you use it for and what species can you use it for? Pretty much all of them is brilliant. So I use lavender oil quite a lot around my home and obviously I do use it on my dogs. It's got some amazing properties, not just being a natural flea repellent, it's also a natural antihistamine. And when my poor little Saren got stung by a bee yesterday, she had a mix of um, lavender, lemon and peppermint. She had, she had some lavender put on her paw topically and it worked a treat. Um, it's also safe to use around cats, which is, is brilliant. And um, I'm actually diffusing lavender. So in my study, um, my bunny Doris lives. She actually has the run of my upstairs. Now, Doris hurt her hip, uh, I think it was about last September. And she recovered really well, but she wasn't grooming herself. Now, she was physically completely back to normal because she could still jump on my bed and do all the manner of jumping up things that she does. But she wasn't grooming herself. And I couldn't really work out why, because she was eating well. You know, she she was obviously, I could see that she was moving well, but she just didn't want to groom herself. So I started diffusing lavender in here every day. And literally within sort of one day of diffusing lavender, she started grooming herself and we've never looked back. And the other great thing about actually um, calming her with lavender is Doris Bunny has this a really annoying habit that when I go away, or sometimes when I go out to work, she likes to pee on my bed, which has meant that every time I go, I have to put a big cover over my bed. And if I go away for um, a trip, which obviously hasn't happened that much, but I, I, I went away on holiday a couple of weeks ago, I literally had to put this big cover over my bed and towels because I like her to be able to have the run of upstairs and I don't want to shut her out of a room in just for the sake of some washing, but it is a bit of a pain. So um, I said to my neighbour who was coming in to feed her, will you put the diffuser on every day? Just pop some lavender oil in there, put the diffuser on every day because I'm just curious just to see whether it helps. And guess what? Got home, no pee. So this lavender oil really does make a difference. And it, so it's not just for calming and soothing, although it can work really well. Although interestingly, a lot of dogs actually don't like lavender oil because it can be too potent. So you will see some of the smaller dogs, the puppies like it and some of the older dogs, but the, the section of um, animals in the middle, the uh, age in the middle don't like it. Great to use around horses as well. And as I said, it's it's one of those ones that's um, certainly safe to use um, among cats. Um, it's also really great for wounds. So if you've um, had any wound, it's very good for skin conditions as well, whether it's got um, lavender oil actually has natural antihistamines in. So if you have any um, skin conditions that need supporting or um, you've got some wounds, this is actually a really powerful oil to use um, to support the, the health of your skin. So, you know, it's not just lavender oil that's used for sleep. It's got so many different things. If you'd like to learn more about using essential oils for your dogs, do have a look at the link that's just going along the bottom. There's a little free video there that you can watch. It's a free video class that tells you a bit more. Um, 
I actually do a little um, starter kit with lavender, peppermint and lemon in, which is great, so particularly for supporting your dogs in a whole manner of different ways um, or other kits as well. So drop me a little um, message um, or have a look at my website, www.whopawswins.co.uk send me a, a message and I can answer any questions um, because there is so much that essential oils can help with. It doesn't just have to be calming and soothing. As I said, it can also help with, um, you know, wound care, skin health, um, physical health as well. You know, um, my dog Evie has this in her blend for her arthritis as well. There's so many just powerful ways that you can use essential oils um, to support your animal's well-being. And I know Holly Cat loves the lavender as well. And she's literally sat just the other side of my laptop smelling it as well. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye.